What's up everybody? Today we are going to be refactoring Sprinter game. Um, made this a, like, uh, how many weeks ago was it? <laughs> I can't remember. Either way, <laughs> we're going to be refactoring it. Here's how it works. You have to hit the left and right arrow, and all of our dots are the same. How did I just win that? How <clears throat> if you look back in the, in the last video, it took me a good 20 minutes to win one. But somehow, I just did that first try. Wh I'm... I'm... Wow. <laughs> because if you go to the other video, I was trying for a good 20 minutes to just try and get first place. And I got first place by a really nice margin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wait, 11, 21, yeah. It was, it was a little bit close there, but sheesh. <laughs> how, how? I don't understand. Anyway, uh, that's the game. You're always the dot in the middle. Um, and here, I'll show you what happens. You try, you gain momentum, and if you mess up, then it stops you. You have to press the left arrow, then the right arrow, then the left arrow, then the right arrow. Um, and so it's like, it's like you're moving your legs, almost. And if you mess up, like that, then uh, it kills all of your acceleration, and, um, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, and each runner has their own speed, kind of, um... So it's, it can, they can be harder or easier, really just depends. Um, okay, so, um, if we go here, we have our runner's array, um, um, line up, <laughs> essentially. We have the player, we have W, what is W? W equals height. Okay, um, Height over runners dot length var <clears throat> it's not w it's uh uh lane width lane width equals width of each lane <laughs> so I'm going to change w yeah let's control f w lane width Let's find one. Okay, let's see. Replace. Find, 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 find. Replace. Uh huh. And that's all. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so far, so good. Um, start time. Um. Uh. Beginning of the game. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so we have our call. Let me, um, say random color. Okay, cool. Dan, you're here. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Let's see. Uh, color of opponents. Yeah, there we go. Um, and we have a loop here. Um, let's see. I'm gonna name this opponent. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna name it call. <laughs> because if I get too, too verbose with my. Because it's just a loop, I guess. You can see the call there and you can see the call there. I don't know how much that really matters. <clears throat> okay, so it's kind of. Hmm. See, with lane width, I had the idea of making it scalable so that you can race, like, hundreds of people, or just, like, you know, in this case, six other people. Um, therefore, let's make a variable, um, let's make a constant, uh, player count equals, and we'll say, seven um not player uh runner <laughs> athlete 
athlete runner count. <laughs> sprinter. It's a sprinter game. There we go. Including how many lanes there are. Including uh, the player. There we go. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> now what I want to do is say sprinter count minus one. Well, no, because then it's i equals zero, i is less than, so that will be, yeah, we do want, well, I guess we want this to be one then. Um, okay. Push opponents. Great, glad, I'm ordering pizza BRB. All right, <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, let's see, uh, random color, we're good. Runner equals new sprinter. Um, let's see. Initialize, initialize player. There we go. I think I spelled that correctly. <clears throat> Opponents. There we go. Start time. Uh, so start time is going to handle the. Uh, um, how, how should I put this? Because it handles when we. Oh wow! Can I finish this? How long is this going to be? <laughs> Let's see, come on. <laughs> 305 seconds. <laughs> okay, um, so if we go here, this is start time, um, initialize, stop, stopwatch. <laughs> there we go. Oh, damn it, that. There we go, okay. Um, so this is good. It's kind of crowded here, but all of these are pretty much necessary. I think my comments just kind of make it a little bit ugly, but it's readability and it's nice. Okay, let's make sure it still works. It doesn't. W is not defined. Sprinter.draw. Okay, well, we need to we need to pass in lane width then. Let's see. Uh with minus lane width. Oh, I forgot to put spaces there. How often does that happen? Okay, I think we're good. Wow, this is a lot of code. Sheesh. Okay, um, now if we pass in lane width in the update function, where do we update? Okay, here's where we, here's where we draw lane width. There we go. Cool, seems to work so far. Am I gonna be able to get first again? No, not quite. It was close. Um, <clears throat> okay, so if we go, I want to be able to, uh, so we have a pretty long setup function, but that's kind of necessary for this. You know what I wanna try real quick? What if I double the amount of sprinters? It works! <laughs> Whoa, that one's really fast. Whoa, that one is too. 944. <laughs> okay, let's let's try like I don't know, I just wanna Oh wait, there. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> That's a lot of people. That looks kind of crazy. You can't see the text that's drawn. Um, let's try 50. Will that make it a little bit easier? Kind of does. I can't tell where I am. Oh, I'm that one. I'm in last place right now. This looks, this looks so crazy. Whoa, the text is so small. How did I make this so scalable? I don't understand anymore. Ah, I'm so I'm really bad at this. Okay, we're going back to seven. Seven runners, looking good. Back to the nice. Um, <clears throat> so, we have... I, I really like that feature. I'm really glad I made that a thing. You can change the amount of runners. Okay, draw, draw, track, and stride. Okay, that's nice. Our draw function is pretty much completely clear. Um, let's document... Key pressed. Oop. Uh, 
handle user input. Oh, Chris, thanks for the packs again. Um, are you the one that accidentally ordered the uh, Team Spook pack that I refunded? <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, stride. So we do a... Uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really need to uh, take that down. I don't want too many people purchasing that. I really just kind of should put it up for... Just oh, oh, yeah, I put it up for free now. Um, cool. I wasn't expecting people to go to self fi I've already funded like three people <laughs> accidentally uh, purchasing things that I don't support anymore. And uh, I end up losing money because of all the fees that are imposed. Uh, let's see, Stride. Stride uh, moves uh, the players, the um, AI for... Right, we actually do have kind of an AI here. Um, for um, opponents. There we go. <laughs> so if we do it's less than runners dot length. Oh, this was genius. Oh my goodness. I did it that way. How did I do it that way? Okay. Um. Okay. Well, I'm I'm going to uh, let's see. Okay. So we loop through all of the uh, runners. Loop through runners. I, there's no real reason to, to write that out. I'm just doing it either way. Um, random is runner.skill um, calculate the speed of the runner. Essentially it's the speed, but it's really the skill, I guess we call it. Um, uh, and then we yeah, okay, wait. Okay, let's move this back up here. There. And let's move this up. Okay. Um, now we um, take a stride. There we go. Um, so let's left arrow plus, hang on left arrow plus right arrow equals 76 therefore uh, 76 minus left arrow equals right arrow and 76 minus right arrow equals left arrow Cool. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what we're saying here. Um, a little bit of algebra. <laughs> we find the the key that must be um, tapped in order to, because essentially they're they're players. Essentially, it's just we don't handle their input. We we make up their input, but they're handled like just every other player. Which means that this could easily be made multiplayer. <clears throat> Since we could just have, like, a player array, or a runner array, or like a runner one, runner two, and the other runner uses A and D to stride. For people, what's up, Morgan? Nice to see you here. I get a lot more people on Saturdays. Maybe I should stream more on Saturdays. Coming up this uh, school year, uh, we start Monday, and... I'm hoping that I'll be able to finish out a game a day um, the first week of school. Um, it's supposed to be an easy first week. We've got the eclipse coming up, so that's exciting. Um, but I'm hoping, hoping to finish up a game a day and then maybe stream other projects. I don't know if you guys would enjoy just random projects that I do. Um, I do have this idea for a... I have tons of these ideas, but I don't know how much people would enjoy me doing them because it's not like games, they aren't games, it's it's like graphing, I mean it's not graphing, but it's like statistic handlers and logins and you know the back end stuff which I'm super into, I'm not super into the uh, to the game development, I'm like, I'm, I'm a, I'm a fool for a, a nice telling graph I guess, <laughs> okay let's see, um, draw the track, 
um, draws, um, runners, uh, draws, and updates runners. Um, yeah, draws, uh, lanes. <clears throat> cool. Good. Um, show off the number crunching of visuals. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, hang on one second. Right now I'm getting familiarized with, I don't know, I need to familiarize myself with Bauer. That's the last thing, really, until I'm, like, completely competent in, in making, um, things. Uh, so right now, here, I'll show you a, uh, a project. If I go to, right now I'm using Express. Can I get, yes, okay, here we go. Um, this is, I'm following a tutorial right now. It's pretty simple. This is, it's using handlebars. It uses, um, grunt, uh, to watch everything. Anyways, I won't get too much into that, but that's the exciting part I'm excited for. I'm hoping to be able to, like, make, uh, different things. I've got a lot of teachers that want me to make certain calculators for them. It's really cool. Uh, okay, so we draw and update runners. Okay, and then we draw the lanes. And then we, what are we doing? Yeah, we are drawing the lanes. Um, I'm going to put this under. I'm going to put this here. Cool. Um, draw lanes. Uh, inner line. Outer line. There we go. Essentially, that it's just this line and then this line. Um, we draw two lines for each uh, each lane. Um, so that's cool. Then we draw the lanes like here. And we have a random color. Um, random color. We have returns a random color. There we go. <laughs> we always have this one. It needs to be put into P5. I need to just copy and paste it into P5. And just reference it through the namespace. But I haven't done that. And I don't think I ever will, because I don't know how much I'll be using P5 for much longer. Um, depends if I keep, if I go into 3D stuff, but maybe that'll be something I stream. Okay, uh, what am I doing? Okay, we're going to go distance. What is distance? Ellipse, distance. Uh-huh, distance equals velocity. Okay, so we have, distance is, whoop. Oh, uh, dis distance traveled by the runner, okay, we have their speed, so what do we do for speed, we say velocity, um, it's essentially their, their acceleration, because what, this is the, um, amount of velocity gained each stride quote unquote stride there we go okay that's essentially what it is I'm fairly certain I hope it is because I'm I'll be documenting it incorrectly if it isn't <laughs> um, then we have velocity which I'm actually going to change to velocity there we go Traveled. Okay, there. China, indeed. Boss Chenga. <laughs> How you doing? Good evening. Let's see. Or morning. I don't know. Um. This stuff velocity is zero. How do I? How should I comment this? Uh. Essentially, your momentum. Um. It is your velocity, but um, in running terms, it's more of just your momentum. Um, skill equals, gonna write this as skill, it's nice how, um, 
it's, it's not speed, it's, it is the skill, uh, how well they run, um, how well they will run, how should I document this, uh, <clears throat> the skill of the runner, <laughs> um, I think it's good, previous key equals null, um, so we need color. I can't pass the word color because that's namespaced. It's a reserved word for P5. Um, I'll document them like this, really. Uh, what is it? Experience, maybe? I was thinking like expertise, but I think I'll just say uh, um, AI uh, variables. Uh, let's skip prev key, previous key. There we go. Uh, so now that is... That's good. That's good. Um, their skill is... Chance of... Um, correctly striding. That's, that's what it is. Okay. I'll keep it that way. Um, previous key holds the previous key. I don't know if there's any way of further, um, uh, you know, solidifying that. <laughs> call has to be call. If we did color, it'd be namespace, I think. Uh, this stuff finished. Um, here we, we, um, whether to receive input or draw time. Maybe I should focus more on the why of this is here, not necessarily its, its you know, purpose, I guess. Uh, time. Time is uh, the time it took them to reach their finish line. It is their, it's their time, I guess. It's not necessarily like a, it's a 100 meter time. Uh, I'll just say it's a stopwatch. There we go. We had our first meet today, by the way, Morgan. It was cool. By the way, I'm happy to help with Bauer NPM stuff. I'm on the Node.js team. Whoa, you are? Oh, wow. And I've even contributed to some tools supporting Bauer, AMA DM on, on Twitter, AMA. I'm he I've heard of that. Uh, Google search for AMA. Amazon. Uh, what, it, what do you call them? Um, okay, well, we have American American Motorcyclist Association, American Marketing Academy of Model. Okay, AMA. Here we go. Ask me anything. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you can use the var color in the function arguments as long as you aren't using the global version inside of that function. So it's like, aren't I really supposed to be saying p five dot color when I when I refer to a color? Or anyone for that matter, don't I have to say like p5 dot vector or p5 dot ellipse? Shouldn't I do it that way? I'm pretty sure I should do it that way. But I, I because I think Daniel Schiffman just, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do it that way. That's better. Ah, oh, snap! Now I'm like, well, you see now it's it's pretty. <laughs> I'm at like 20 episodes <laughs> and. Oh goodness, um, it does make it a little bit, I don't think it makes it harder to understand, but either way, I don't know, I'll keep it like this since it's literally the way I've been doing it the whole time, and, ah. um, let's see, if it were a big project, I definitely would be namespacing everything, but since it's a game a day and I'm doing this for YouTube only, <laughs> I'm gonna skip out on that, um, so yeah, I am going to say this dot color because I'm pretty sure yeah, you were saying. Whoop! Didn't mean to copy that. Okay. Color. Um. This dot c. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah. Okay. There's no refactoring support uh, within regular JavaScript in Atom, which is a kind of a bummer, but. 
I've kind of made it without it so far. Um, draw, the draw function. So it draws the runner. We'll see what else it does. Um, figure out their height. Um, where based upon lane, uh, figure, figure, that's, okay. So it's, I guess, um, so we initialize ellipse, okay. Distance, this is pretty straightforward so far. Um, we simply draw them here. Um, figure, I'm just gonna say figure out y, because I feel like I'm commenting a tad too much with all of it. Um, anyways, uh, let's do this stuff finished. Draw the runner's time. Draw the time. If I keep using runner and I use sprinter.js, it's just gonna get confusing, I guess. Um, cool. Um, update. Okay. <clears throat> Let me do this. Uh, this here. No, I don't wanna. I don't wanna replace that line. There we go. If we finish, uh, don't allow uh, input. There we go. Uh, else handle input. Right? No, no, no. We don't. We don't. We need to do it here. I guess. Why do we do it here instead of if this stop finished we say don't allow movement yeah okay um okay cool we set this stop finished equal to this dot distance greater than width um so I'll document this <laughs> Calculate a uh, figure. Um, set whether the runner is finished. Runner finished the race. This is this is like the perfect time to be coding this because. Our first uh, cross country meet of the season started today, or, or uh, was today. Uh, so, changes uh, distance based upon um, velocity uh, handles velocity uh, based upon speed I guess I don't know we do we do say it like uh, based upon speed uh, so depending on their actual speed speed and resistance because that's what we're doing here there we go um, acceleration this here is movement <clears throat> and then we reset acceleration. There we go. Um, now, here we say, um, we handle, okay, so we, we constrain velocity. City. Okay, let me actually put this here. Um, oops. Nope, didn't mean that. There, okay. And then we say move the sprinter. There we go. Um Okay, uh and it also <clears throat> handles uh whether handles finished. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. Um so then we set time. Uh, stop stopwatch. Handles finish. Um, 
stops stopwatch. There we go. I'm I'm commenting way more than I normally do. I think I am, and I don't know if it's helpful or what, but I'm gonna keep doing it. So, what's going on, I Hazer? Um, I Hazer. I'm not sure if I pronounce that correctly. How do you have time for YouTube? Don't you have school? Um, I do. Uh, but that's going to begin. Um, that's going to begin Monday, um, and I hopefully will be less busy once school starts. Uh, so that'll be cool. <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna try and make time for streaming. Um, we'll see how it goes because it's junior year and it's supposed to be the one that you're supposed to really try on, but. I've been trying on all of them. Okay, let's see. Uh, previous key does not equal null. Um, okay, as long as they've inputted something previously. Um, okay, don't want that there. We don't want a double. We don't want a double equal for the not. Uh, I've learned. <laughs> had so many bugs come from there. Um, so this is going to say. Um, Okay, so here we say only if they've strided in the past. There we go. <laughs> uh, if they've they've uh, tapped the correct key, um, and then this is for the same reason. Uh, this here is the same reason as this. So I'm I'm going to copy and paste just so that it's in two places. Um, it's really, I don't know, I like that. <laughs> I can just use some simple algebra to calculate if they tap the correct one. Um, so then we say uh, speed up. Um, We'll accelerate. There we go. Okay. Now, if we go else, cut off momen momentum. There, cut off momentum. Uh, they've pressed the wrong key. Uh, let's do this and let's do that. Cool. And we will go here else. Um, no previous key press. Uh, just add to the velocity. Um, previous key equals this dot key. Uh, keep track of key. There we go. Wait, should we do that if we, yeah, I, I guess so. It really only matters with one key. Um, but if you like, only, if, well, no, I don't know. I don't know if we should keep track of key in this way. How you doing, Aussie? How you doing? Nice to see you here, <laughs> joined in on the stream. Let's make sure this still works. Okay, the other, the other sprinters aren't sprinting, which means I'm really good at this game. <laughs> go on. Hooray! 1027, that's a, that's a pretty decent time for a 100. I think I could have gotten closer to sub 10 had I not tapered off at the end. So what's going on here? Do we have any errors? Sadly, no. When do we have any errors in JavaScript? When, when do we see anything? <laughs> How'd you do at the meets? Um, I'd say pretty well. It was a two mile. It was really hilly. It was like a relay. It was odd. It was a two man relay. And, uh, each person did two miles, and I got like a 1050, which is pretty good at the beginning of the season. Um, I feel like I could have pushed harder if I had eaten more before, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so they aren't going. Um, so what's going on? Let's look up uh, stride, right? Yeah, stride. Okay, so we will first console.log flag there so that's fine uh, control can I do control X oh fantastic 
Uh, let's redo that. Now if we do, hmm. So we do this. <clears throat> can we can hmm, what is what's going on here? Uh we say runners dot run, runners of r dot run. But we're still drawing them at the same place. Okay, let's look up runners. Sprinter, sprinter, sprinter. Previous key is not a number. Okay, let's see. Previous key does not equal null. It does need to be a triple, right? No, mm, I don't know, we'll see. Because that's really the only thing I changed, right? Nope, okay, apparently something else. Uh, so previous key equals key. Um, the key that was passed. We have run. Where do we always, where are we called run? So we have runner.run, runners.run. Okay, so that's the only time we call dot run. Let's look at runners again. If we go in here, we look at this. We have color, okay, distance, finished, false, previous key, not a number. Time velocity. So previous key is not have yet. Um, oh, and I forgot to document this. Let me document this real quick. Uh, handles uh, key press, uh, handles key press. Um, accelerates the runner. Okay. Um, key press and previous. Yes, key. Okay. So that's what we're doing there. I feel like it's due to this. But it's, as long as it's not null, which means we should have strided here. Previous. That's why. Okay. So now they're moving. <laughs> that was why. Uh, just kind of a semantic uh, refactory going on. Can I make it? Oh snap, how did I catch up to him? No! <laughs> I'm heartbroken now. Um, okay, well, let's see. Yeah, I'd say that's, that's pretty much it. Um, one thing I do want to look up real quick is if we go to P5, and we have, uh, can we invert color? easily so like a uh, invert well I guess we could here let's make a uh, function invert color and what we're gonna do is we're going to returns a the color um, the past color Turns an inverted color of the past color. Okay, um, so I will pass color, and then we say bar r equals. I think we can. What if we did this? Uh, so we we get um, minus color red of color. Um, two hundred fifty-five minus. R G green of color, uh, and then B of color, blue of color. There we go. It's kind of it's kind of I'm just gonna make variables. R equals this part. Eh, I want that too in there. Uh, R G equals R B equals uh, green. Blue, and then whoop, R G B. Now, what we want is color equals random color. Uh, okay, so color. I'm gonna make this opponent color. Color opponent color. Um, invert color. Opponent color. What happened? Color is not a function. Yeah, okay, so now. Huh, okay. If we go to 
return color RGB. Yeah, so we can't can't do that. Um, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. So now it inverts it. Cool. Now we're always in an invert version of the. Uh, <laughs> Now we don't get similar colors. Okay, I need to sell. <laughs> okay, well, um, that's about all. Uh, whoa, that's a fast run. How fast is this gonna gonna get it? Um, nine seventy nine. Not bad. Usain Bolt status. No, okay. Uh, let's let's increase the sprinter count because that's always fun. Um, you know what we could do? Um, how do we get the width and height? Get width and height of um, screen JavaScript. I've forgotten. I think it's window dot something. Okay, let's see. Screen width. Oh, they get the full screen width. Indeed, they. This one's like super. See what he's saying. Okay, let's see. So jQuery screen size. Okay. I'm not using jQuery. Um, window. Mm -hmm. D dot document element. Well, I don't want to get the document. I kind of just want to get the window. There we go. Okay. Nice. He uses regular JavaScript and it's not in this cryptic. <laughs> okay. It's not cryptic, but. Um, oh, this is nice. It uses. So because some, uh, we'll do this then. How do I, okay, source, let's go here. So this is just taken from, so now they're just saying, how do I, oh, well, IE8. I don't know if I want to support that. I don't know if I'm about that. <laughs> I'll, I'll just go for inner width. I don't want to like completely, because I would credit them, but I'm not sure who made this. I guess I could just credit to W3, but I'll just go for this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, well, okay. <sighs> we need to return true on this. Okay, maybe we need to return false. There we go, okay. Um, keep from moving the screen. Okay, how do we uh, remove um, scroll bars? I'm pretty sure we can, yeah, okay, we need some CSS. This is a bummer. I think I'm just gonna write it in the, in the head if I can. Um, overflow hidden. Okay, so that's why they have, um, and the X. So if I do, I'm going to put it, can I just put it like style, uh, type equals, going through the motions, style, oh, there we go. And then we say body. Goodness, I've completely messed this up. <laughs> uh, overflow. Hidden. Hidden. There, okay. Well, let's see if this works. It's not letting me refresh. There we go. Okay, now we no longer get the scroll bars. And it's a nice full screen game. How do I delete the margins too? Can I say uh, margin 0px? Why can't I F5? Oh, because... Okay, well that worked. Um, return false. <laughs> uh, return whether or not, because I want to be able to. Uh, what is F five? Let's console dot log. Key code. Uh, now I can't do this. Ah, shucks. Inspect. Here we go. Console. 116, 123. Um, so, well, um, 
I don't think we need to. Well, if we delete the scroll bars, it, will it still. Okay. Will it still want to move? It won't. Okay, cool. We don't have to worry about. Okay, I lost. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, it's, it fits the screen, I'm digging that, <laughs> and now we can add many, many more runners. Let's do 100, and make, let's make it the size of our actual screen. Where am I? I'm that little blue one right there, if you can see. <laughs> okay. Whoa, this one's fast. I wonder if we will be able to see the text. I mean, it's not that fast. It's just a bigger screen now, which makes it look like it's inner height and inner width, I think is X browser. Okay, let's see. Okay, you, you can't read the text, so I'll keep it, I'll keep it at seven. What does it look like with seven? Right now I'm just messing around because <laughs> Whoa, it's really big. And it doesn't like it doesn't look like we're moving too much. Uh, come on. Eh. Come on. No shots. Hooray. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Well, I mean, oh, wow. I didn't think about that. I did not think about that. Um, we go off of pixels when we kind of want to go off of their, uh, their, see, we're saying, um, where, where are we saying? Not draw. It should be within. Did you teach yourself how to do this, or did you take a class? Well, I didn't necessarily take a class, and I didn't necessarily teach myself, but I did relegate, regulate, relegate? I don't know. <laughs> my my learning, I learned most of it on YouTube, really. Um, and Stack Overflow. <laughs> uh, if we do this dot velocity, okay, that's fine. Speed is zero. We want this to be relative to the screen width. <laughs> See, this is odd now. Um, this dot distance really should be. Well, I guess since it's single player, all of the other players have to. If we were to make this multiplayer, it'd be much more difficult. Since we don't necessarily uh, have the same screen size as all people playing, but since the other sprinters are just AI, they have the same distance that they need to travel also. So I guess this is cool. Um, that's about all. You can play it in full screen. And it's all nice and dandy. <laughs> um, that's about all. Thank you to everyone watching. Um, I start school Monday. So hopefully I will still be able to uh, stream at least these last five episodes. Episodes, And then I need some, um, some inspiration of what I should be coding next. Um, I got an Arduino with a screen. So I think that'd be really cool to like code a game on an Arduino with a screen and like hook up buttons so that you can uh, play <laughs> play like Pong or something against an AI just on a little breadboard. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll make like a stream or a video on that. Um, anyways, that's about all. Thanks for joining in. I'll see you guys later. Peace, peace.